In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, modify and edit the home page for the Shopify uh, Expanse theme. This is a paid theme uh, available on the Shopify App Store and uh, other places online. Um, I'm going to show you how to edit this banner, the navigation here, top header, these items here, scrolling down, your messaging, how to change all of this, select it, testimonials, footer, etc. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in to the Shopify admin. I'm already logged in, so it's going to take me right in. Okay, so you're going to see some things. You may see these where it says customize theme, add domain name, etc. Um, we're going to go ahead and click on online store. We're not going to worry about um, any of these other items right now. Um, we're just going to go to online store. And if at any time during the time that I'm actually working on this, if I, I wanted to preview this, what I usually do is I'll keep one uh, window open here like this, and then I'll go ahead and, and um, select uh, Customize. I right-click on it and open it up in a new tab just so I have access to come back to this section and I don't have to go back and forth you know, uh, to change things. So uh, right now, I'm going to go ahead and just keep the website here. Now if we look at this, Expanse was already installed and we've configured it. We've actually made these banners, made the images. Jeez, pain in the ass. Okay, so now we've logged in. Uh, we actually clicked on the customizer, and we're in the back end. If you notice over here, uh, on the right-hand side, we have some things we can do, some quick keyboard shortcuts and things like that. You can mess around with that later. If we scroll down on the center here, um, you'll see uh, your website. Okay. Now, um, if you look up here, you have home page, products, collections. We'll get into this later, but the, you can actually edit these directly as well. There's only a couple of options available for each one. Um, the only page that has this like WYSIWYG editor is the home page. So the internal pages do not. Right? So that's why you either need to pick a theme that you like that has a cool you know, collection page, a cool product page, things like that. Or um, pick a theme, generic theme, and then add to it with code or apps. Okay? A cool thing about Shopify is it does have this ability right here to go ahead and click on and look at how your website would look in the mobile. So you can go ahead and look at that while you're actually playing around with it. Click on desktop, and if you click on full screen, it gets rid of all the menus together. So we're going to go back to desktop, and this announcement bar here. So this announcement bar at the top, we go ahead and click on that. And Shopify just changed the way it has this whole, it's called Online 2.0. So now that they have this whole new back end, you're going to want to click on the actual um, arrows now to do the drop downs. Well, we have messages here that actually rotate for this particular theme. So if you look at it, when I click on these, they'll actually show up on the right hand side here. So if you notice, I can actually change the text here. I can link it to something else. So if I wanted the free shipping over for someone to be able to link on it and click and go somewhere, I can do that. I can also put different text in here for mobile. So say for instance, free shipping over 125 is too long, I could put free shipping. And then that way when you look at it on a mobile, it'll be a different saying for the mobile. So if I go ahead and just change it, I'll go ahead and add that in here now. I'll just call it free ship. And notice how free ships on mobile. Now if I go back to desktop, it goes back to my original text. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that because it's not that long. Now if you look over here, you see these little eyeballs. Uh, the eyeball actually means I could turn off or not hide, or I can hide that particular item. So only these two would show. So I would do this in case I don't want to delete the actual um, saying and I want to keep it for later. So I don't have to re-add it again. It's kind of a pain if you, you know, delete stuff and later on to come back and re-add it. You can just disable it by turning off the preview. If you notice, I also have these little dots right here. This actually allows you to click and to drag 
um, the items. So say, for instance, you wanted um, this announcement, you wanted the Maryland store since 1999, you wanted that to show first, you would put that in the first position, and then you have your next one free shipping over, and then you have your next one office. So say I wanted the office hours to show first, I would just click and drag it there. Okay? Easy peasy purchasey, right? Okay, so next thing down, we'll go ahead and collapse that. I'm going to go to header. So the header, you can now control your logo. So if you click on the logo here, you can actually see this version here. Now you always want to enter um, alt tag uh, text and say what your store is or what you're selling or something along those lines. Just for search engine optimization will help you out. Okay, So we can change the image. We can remove the image if we wanted to actually change it. I'm not going to do that. Um, just because uh, I don't feel like it. Okay, uh, white logo. This is if um, you have a logo that's all white and it's going to show up on the black background or it's going to show up on a uh, transparent header or something along those lines. Desktop logo width. You can actually make the logo smaller if you wanted to or you can make it larger if you wanted to. So we actually are sticking right around 200 because that seems nice for the actual theme and for the way the site looks and everything. And then you can do the same thing for the logo. So if the logo is too small on, um, on mobile and you want to make it bigger, you just click there and it'll make it a little bit bigger. So there's really no change on this one. But anyway, that's how you would do that. All these settings are preset in here. So um, next thing I'm going to go down here is I'm going to go down to the hero slideshow. And that's what you see here. Well, there's only one um, slide right now. So we can actually make multiple slides. Um, if we make them the same size, um, and they will actually fit right in this window. Um, you can add text to the tops of these. Um, if I wanted to add some text over my image, I could. But since this particular image has the text built into it, we don't have that. So say, for instance, you made this just a black box, right? And then you had this image. It'd be kind of hard for you to put the text and get it lined up right in that black box. So you probably want to have an image that goes all the way across and that it maybe has an overlay on it and it's a little darker. So we can actually put text onto these if you take a look at this. So now I've got text above and text below it. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to turn that off, turn that off. And delete that there and it can actually link to something you can also have the slide link directly somewhere so say you wanted the entire image to link somewhere so now we got this find something good right and then if we scroll down here you're gonna see um, all this information here and we have the slide link actually goes to the catalog page okay so if I go down to this area here you'll see here's my slide and so I can um, change the image if I wanted to, um, but I'm not going I don't want to do that. So you can get in here and you can scroll through the different images. You can actually upload your own image. You can use a free image. So uh, Shopify has the ability to allow you to, you know, select um, images through here. You can also just type in um, text. So say for instance you wanted to have um, a guy type in man, and then it'll bring up all the. These are free to use. They're off of Burst.com. They're royalty free, you don't get in trouble with trademarks or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that because I don't wanna use that. And I can also specify a mobile image. So say for instance, this image doesn't look nice on uh, desktop here, right? And, but in mobile, and in mobile, it's too small. And I just wanted to show this image. I would actually take this into Photoshop and I would cut it, right? So I just have that image and then it would just show across the entire thing. So I'm not gonna do that, that's a different video, all right? Um, text protection, focal point is the center, etc. So that's it for the hero slide. So if I added another hero, and I'll just do it for instructional purposes. So notice how there's text on top of here. So here's my hero. Um, I've got text that says text alignment bottom left, or I can do center. I can change where this actual text goes. And I'm going to go ahead and select an image here. Let me just grab, um, let me just grab another image. I don't think we have anything really large. Let me see here. Let me use a free image. And I'll just use staff favorites and I'll use this shopping thing. So now I have this shopping image here, okay? And then I want to call it, and you want to select it. So you select the image. And now I want something else on mobile. So I'm going to go back, go to free images. Let me go to staff here. And then I want the, this computer. I'm going to say select. 
So notice on desktop, it's still that same image, right? And here's my mobile image. So if I change this to mobile, that will actually give me that mobile image. So I can use that. And just remember, when you add these images, you always want to edit the alt text, right? That's for the search engines. So you want to save what that image is, or you want to say what your keyword is on each of these, the mobile version and the desktop version. Save you a little sanity. So I'll go back to the desktop. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this because I don't want to use that. But if I'm going to scroll down here, you can actually, look, I'm sorry, scroll up and you can put text onto the top of this um, uh, banner. So if you wanted to say, you know, uh, shop store, and then you wanted to say, um, you know, the best old day seasoning, and then that's pretty long. Let's just say, let's just say old day. Okay, so now I got Old Bay, and then I would say, uh, I don't need the extra text, but there's an optional button there. So I can actually control this. So I can say Shop Old Bay, and then I can say, where do I want that to go, right? So I've got the slide link, which is, uh, let's see here, let's go pick one, Collections, and then I'm gonna look for Old Bay. Or actually, let me do products. Let me go back in here. Let me get products. And let's see. I'll just pick one of these here, black eye. So now if I click on the, the slide, it's gonna take me, it's gonna take me to that. So uh, I can control also the button. If the button has text as well. So then there's also slide link text. So there's link two. So let's see where this goes. All collections. Shop two. So you have the ability to add a second button. So you can say shop this, you know, or whatever. You can shop all. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff. When you're done, you always wanna select save as well. So it actually saves it to your store. So if you're going through here or you get distracted or you forget or anything and you're going through and you make all these edits and you forget to save and then you go look at it on the front end and nothing's changed and you gotta come back in and save it. And then you're gonna to wanna to get in the habit of doing that just for your own sanity, okay? So I don't want that section or anything. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Hero. Now if you click on Hero, click on Hero here, on the right hand side it says remove block. So I don't want this particular slide anymore. I just wanna keep that single slide. So now I have my Hero, I'm gonna select save, and now my store is back hunky-dory the way it was. Okay, scrolling down the site here, we have these sections, these texts with images. So if we click on the first column, second column, third column. First column here, click over here, and notice we have this column here, so we're gonna go ahead and click on edit. Remember, we need to add some alt text in here, so you're gonna wanna go in there and do that. So Maryland Food and Drink, I'm just gonna go ahead and add that right now. Edit, Maryland Food and Drink, save, right? And so I'll scroll down. And then you have shop our wide selection of right there and shop Maryland food and drink. And then you got food and drink is the actual link, right? So uh, in order to link that up, it's a collection. It's going to the collection page. So if I get rid of that, if I just type in, I could type in the name if I know what it is, food. And it'll give me everything that has to do with food. It'll say, okay, well, I found some in the collections. Here you go. So you can do it that way to find stuff easier. Okay. So now this button is linked. So now this button is linked to the collection, food and drink, and since it's the same link, it doesn't make me save it. So if it was a different link, it would tell me to save up here. Okay, so I don't click on these. I actually have to click over here. So I'll click on column. So say, for instance, I don't want that second column showing, I would click there. Notice that it automatically formats for two and it gets it bigger. So it's gonna do it dynamically for you. So let's add the third one back in there. And then the same way, click on the column. You're gonna click on the image. So right now we got shop. Maryland gear, I'm gonna go ahead and edit alt text. 
I'm going to add it in here, save. Okay, then you have control over where it goes, the text, uh, image width, and everything. So I'm going to do the third one as well. Let's just get all this alt text in here. Oh, put it there. Okay. Okay, so going down the page some more, I have new arrivals. This is a, a collection. So we actually have a collection inside your website called New Arrivals. And you have the ability to go ahead and assign products to that New Arrivals collection, and they'll show up on the home page. So if we scroll down the page here, let me go ahead and make some of this stuff smaller here. So you've got Featured Collection, and that's what your Featured Collection is. So if you click on Featured Collection, we have it it's called New Arrivals. And then we scroll here, and here is where your collection is. So say, for instance, I want a different collection. Say, for instance, I wanted a different collection. I can go ahead and change the collection. And I can type in, you know, start typing in what I want. So say, for instance, I want Old Bay, whatever, Old Bay Seasoning. I click that, and notice it brings up all the Old Bay products. But see how my title still says New Arrivals. So you can change whatever collection you want and put it in there. And then you can control the actual title that is displayed for the top of that particular collection on the home page. So I'm going to go ahead and set that back. New arrivals. And we're going to select it. Swipe on mobile, view, divider, some other little options. You can play around with those settings. Since I didn't change anything, remember it's not going to tell me to save anything. So if you don't see that it's if it's ghosted out like this, it means you don't need to save it. Okay? So that's the feature collection. The next thing down is our little promotion hero, okay, we'll click on this guy, and then over here, we don't have a subheading, we just have get something for your crab in your life, right, so we can control that as well, and then you've got shop for something seasonings, pretty self-explanatory, shop crabby, and then the button link is, you know, crabby items, and this one you also have the ability to have another uh, button next to it, so if you want to have one and two, you can do that. Um, the image is just a black background, so we had to make a black background image, unfortunately. And we're just going to call this Krabby Items. You can also, what's really cool about this, you can paste the URL from like YouTube right here. Sometimes that works. If it doesn't work, the theme may have changed, and you want to print. Uh, paste your own mp4 um, link in there to wherever your video is as well and it will show up as like a background for you. Okay so we're finished with that one. Let's go down here. So now we got shop for apparel. Okay. Notice how I have featured collection and it has the line through it. See it's, it's turned off. So we had another collection below that and I just left it there so that you can play around with that. So if you wanted to add another collection below that you could. So we'll turn that off. So image with text Go ahead and click on that. If you notice, here we go. This is Shop for Apparel, right? It's a Maryland themed t shirts, hats. You can just grab all that, go into the alt tag, slap, slam it in there. They give you 255 characters, so why not put all that in there, right? Same thing. You come down, you put the text in, text below that, button, label text right here, and then you put in your own link, okay? You click on it. So if I didn't want apparel, I click there, I can link it to a page, a product, a collection, a blog, etc. So I'm just going to go back to apparel and it's going to populate up. There it shows me some. There we go. So image on the left, I can float it on the right if I wanted to. But for instructional purposes, we'll put it back. Show section divider. We don't need a divider. There's just already there's already enough space there. So we don't need that. So let's go ahead and go down the page some more. Notice newsletter is grayed out. And you can turn that back on if you want. So now we got these collections. So these are the different collections that you can control, okay, on this page here. So this collections list, if you click on the first one, it's cookbooks and books. So we grabbed our Im image over here. You can change it. We're going to go ahead and edit collection. I'm sorry, not edit collection. We have cookbooks and books. And what this does is say, for instance, if you notice, there's an image here, but there's no images on these. So that means that on the collection itself, there's an actual featured image. On these other collections, there's no featured image, okay, inside the back end here, and I'll show you that. So if I click on products and then collections, 
see how there is no featured image for these? So let me find the one that has it. It is cookbooks and books. So if I type in cookbooks, there we go. So see how that has a featured image? That has an image because that was the one we created for that banner. But if you notice, this has a featured image and the others don't. So where is it getting the images from for um, this little selection? It picks a product. It picks the first product that's in the collection. So it'll, it'll actually show these so you don't have any blank images. So it's kind of smart and intuitive. So you can go through and you can change whatever you know collections you want to have over here. So if you don't want to have you know apparel, you can change it, change the collection, go select the one you want. Okay. Scrolling down a little bit further, let's go ahead and collapse that. We got the map. So now the map here, you have your our, our retail site. If you look at this, it's probably a, you know you want to look at this thing on another screen um, at the same time. So I have a couple of screens that I go back and forth between. But um, if you have one, you're going to want to make this full screen so you can see what this says and how it looks and everything, right? And then you can go back to desktop and you can change the text in here and how you want it to say. This is the map address. So they click the map. Um, and if they get down a little further here, here's the actual image. And if you look at this, I'm going to go ahead and add this to say uh, map of the Maryland store. I'll select save. This one's a little, uh, because of the way this image was taken and the size and everything, we had to kind of offset it on some white space. So inside Photoshop, we had to actually crop it so that it does this. So this is, this entire, is the entire image right here, right? And then we actually shrunk it down just a little bit just to get it so it actually all fits in there and looks correct. Um, when we tried different sizes and everything, it was just not picking up enough. You're going to have to play around with the images. There is a program online called photopia.com. It's free. It's a free website, photopia.com. It works just like Photoshop, and it's free, um, and it works inside of any browser. So if you don't want to buy Photoshop, there is also something called GIMP, um, which is a free uh, download. You just do a search for GIMP, you know, photo editor, and you'll find that. You can use that as well, or you can sign up for Canva or one of the other um, services out there that allows you to do image manipulation. Okay. Uh, also, Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo is good. Um, let's go over here now. So now we get the map. Then we go to testimonials. So if we scroll down some more here, get my little pop-ups there. Uh, we got our testimonials. So you could just go ahead and add or delete or change or whatever you want here. It'd be on this slider. So if I click on these testimonials, you'll see select the stars, put the person's stuff in. And if you want to put someone's image in there, you can, and then the author, and then where they are located. And then it'll show up in this wonderful little slider here. So we just put the ones that were on from online somewhere, Yelp, etc. cetera. Um, and that's basically it. Then you got footer promotions. So if you scroll down here, the footer promotions are turned off um, just because um, they're kind of ugly. So if I go ahead, I'll go ahead and add them. Let's just take a look at them. And I'll add another one, add another one. So I just added three of the footer promotions. There's really nothing in there for it. So I'd have to uh, click on the column and then select an image. Let me just grab some of these here. We're not using footer promotions. Footer promotions would be across the site, across the footer site-wide. Uh, we don't have them uh, enabled, so you can add and play around with that if you want. Um, the footer is for the entire footer of the website, so you have navigation. So if you scroll down here, you've got your navigation. It was the first one, is our company, so we click there. And if you scroll down, you actually see if you wanted to put a title up there, you could, but you could change it to whatever you want. But the actual uh, menu itself that we created for this is um, about us, store location, terms, privacy, okay? And then the second thing you got is navigation. You come down, there's another one. So this one is the help and orders menu. And if we wanted to change that, we can select change menu. Then we go find, you know, we can create a menu or we can go and uh, use a menu that we've already created. So if you come in here, you also have the ability to change the contact and social information, your phone number, um, contact page, it goes to customer service, chat link. So you can go ahead and mess around with some of that stuff. Payments and localization, R show payment icons. All it does is it shows these. If I deselect it, it's going to take them off. 
but you want to leave those enabled just so people can see them. And you don't need a currency selector and you don't need language unless you want to have multiple languages. You can do that. So um, pop up, this is for this little sign up and save thing. But if you're using another service like uh, Clavio or MailChimp or something else, you'll end up using that. This is just built into the theme. All of this does, if someone signs up, it just puts them underneath your customer list and says you can, you can email them. But there's no automation after that. There's no like it automatically sends them an email and all that other fun stuff. So you're going to want to use an app in order to um, create a pop-up for your website. And we can cover that in another video. Once you're finished and you feel everything everything looks good, you've tested it all out, you click on save. If you don't have that save option, then you can just go back to the store by clicking on exit here and it takes you right back to the site. 